Hi, I am going to go over a few very basic things in regards to edge locations and cloud front. And again, this is just like the basic concepts of it. Um, I'll provide resources that can dive a little bit deeper. Um, I am just as a recap, I'm going to talk about edge locations and cloud front. My name is Tasha Penwell. I am an AWS Educate Cloud Ambassador. I am certified as a cloud practitioner, and I am the computer science program manager here at Hawking College. Edge locations are the first thing we're going to be discussing, and what the edge locations are are the data centers. They're the what um, in regards to like the thing. Uh, edge locations are a worldwide network of data centers. Um, basically, that's what it is. It's just a data center. Uh, he uses edge locations. Users who utilize AWS CloudFront services are the users of um, edge locations. Um, CloudFront is a service that is offered by AWS Amazon Web Services. And you can see in this little map, and we'll be looking at it again later on at the end of this presentation, um, the little blue dots indicate edge locations. Um, the purple dots indicate multiple edge locations. And then there's the regional edge caches. Um, and then there's the S3 bucket. And these you know, represent the users who are accessing information. When are the edge locations utilized? Edge locations are utilized when a user is requesting content that is served on CloudFront. So basically, the process is this. You're on, you're on a computer or on your mobile device, and you're going to pull up a website. And um, what that does is, the, you know, sometimes whenever there's a severe lag in a website or a web page downloading or image, that's because it's not in your cache. Um, it's not easily for the server to gather that um, resource from wherever the origin is. So what CloudFront does, it helps reduce that latency and that lag time for a better um, customer experience for the person who's trying to utilize the website. Um, or the mobile app. And so what CloudFront does is acts as an inter intermediary between the user and the origin. In this case, it's an S3, which is a storage um, component within AWS. So that's kind of when the edge locations are utilized. They're utilized when a user is calling upon a resource, whether it be an image, whether it be an audio file, whether it be a page, a web page. Um, for their device that they're on, their computer, their mobile device, whatever. And the CloudFront um, just gets it to you quicker. So CloudFront is the service um, that uses these data centers. Um, CloudFront is an AWS web service um, that speeds up distribution of static and dynamic web content. That can be HTML files, CSS files, JavaScript files, image files um, to users. Again, it just gets the content to the users faster, um, which will create a better experience for the end user. Who uses CloudFront? Um, basically, anybody who resource who uses the resources hosted on AWS servers. Um, uh, for the developers, they are utilizing AWS technology um, to host uh, all the things that they are doing. They're using S3. They're using EC2. They're using VPCs and all of the other various services that are within AWS. And they utilize CloudFront as another service so that the users have an ultimately better experience uh, for the website that they're trying to access. So when is CloudFront used? Here's a little video. We're not going to watch the complete thing. It's only about two minutes long, but we're only going to watch about the first 30 seconds of it because I wanted this to be just a very basic foundational understanding of what edge locations and CloudFront is. Introducing Amazon CloudFront, a fast, highly secure, and programmable content delivery network service. With CloudFront, you can deliver your content and applications to millions of users at scale. You can deliver both static and dynamic content. CloudFront has a worldwide network of data centers called edge locations and is integrated with AWS at physical locations directly connected to the expanding AWS global infrastructure. You can use either an AWS... Okay. 
and you you have the website you have the if you want to watch the full video you can again i just want to kind of give you the basic understanding of a visual of what cloudfront is and you saw in those graphics about equal reaching out to the multiple edge locations how is cloudfront used um, if the content is already in the edge location with the lowest latency cloudfront delivers it immediately so that basically that means you saw in the map earlier, and then we're going to look at it again here shortly. Um, there are various lo edge locations located around the globe, and it goes to the one that has, um, if the content is already in the edge location with the lowest latency, it's delivered immediately. If it's not in the edge location, it retrieves it from the origin, which could be an S3 bucket, um, or it can be you know any other resource that they're hosting the file. So here is a map, and again, it has, you can see where we have edge locations. The single edge locations are in the blue. The purple indicate um, multiple edge locations within that particular area. And then the yellow is regional edge caches. So here's a snippet that I took um, from the website. Uh, and again, the resources or the sources on all this is that you can see down below. And I'm not going to read this verbatim, but it says when a user requests a content that you can serve that you serve with CloudFront, the request is routed to the nearby edge location. And the basically reason for that is just you know for better user experience. They don't re, um, experience the lag or the slow you know response time. Um, by caching your content in edge locations, CloudFront reduces the load on your S3 bucket, which helps ensure a fast response for your users when they request the content. So there, it increases the satisfaction and the user experience and it helps, um, yes, it just helps an overall experience for the end user. And this is the map that we showed earlier. You can see that the user's requesting a particular file, image, um, web page, whatever. And it, if this, if this, uh, Edge location already has that particular file, then the user has you know very fast um, return speed. Um, if it doesn't, or the cache center doesn't have that file, then it'll retrieve the file from the S3 bucket, and then for 24 hours, I believe is the default time, that um, what file, image, what have you, is what will stay you know cached in that edge location. You can actually edit the uh, how long you want the cache to rest in an edge location. Um, I think, like I said, the default is 24 hours. So if you have any questions, um, this has a lot of good information on what CloudFront is and how it's used. Um, you can email me or text me. Thank you.